Thank you. Why don't you put a bone through your nose and go back to Bongo Bongo land? Sorry, that's a letter from my father-in-law to me. He said, anyway, excuse me. Sorry. Who put this in there? I'm always trying to play tricks on me. Thanks. Um, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, um, you, I'm so honored to be here, and uh, you get chosen letters. And I couldn't believe that I, I know this letter very well. It is from Wimbledon Football Club. I know who wrote it. Um, it, was, it was between Sam Haman, who was a Lebanese businessman who owned Wimbledon at the time, and Wally Downs, who was the coach. And I'm going to do it in, because I know Wally Downs wrote it, so I'm going to do it in his voice. And you will excuse me, I have a very middle class voice, um, and I will do it slightly Cockney, and, and I'm a football fan, which means, uh, like typical middle class football fans, the closer we get to a football ground, the more Cockney we get for some reason. <laughs> when I go to a match, it goes, oh, it's a lovely day for football, it's wonderful, oh dear, there seems to be fighting, oh dear, there's a hooligan melee, hooligan melee, got a better, better join in, who wants some, do you want some, who wants some, do you want some, who wants some, do you want some? I'll go get some, I'll go get some, yeah. <laughs> we haven't got it yet. I'll go and buy some and come back to you. <laughs> Sorry, that's not. So th that just gives, contextualizes my choice of character for this letter. To sports editors from everyone at Wimbledon FC, the jellyfish man, alias Gary Lineker. Wimbledon Football Club regret Gary Lineker's personal criticism of their player, Vinnie Jones, and the comments he also made about Alex Ferguson and Paul Gascoigne. As a BBC Sports presenter, he should aspire to the high standards that organisation has always stood for, not resort to smearing free fellow professionals. It is an abuse of his position at the BBC. In his typical selfish way, Lineker is trying to promote himself as a strong man with strong opinions. But it can never happen. He will always be perceived as a wimp. Lineker has the charisma of a jellyfish, and just as wet. He is a jellyfish without a sting, and in a war, he'd be the first to line up behind Vinnie Jones and the first to run for cover. <laughs> the men he attacked are all winners by nature and deed, and he clearly envies them for one thing he will never have, a personality. <laughs> strong stuff, it's unbelievable. Um, Lineker may have been a great footballer, so I may have overcockneyed that, overcockneyed that. <laughs> it may have been a footballer. Lineker may have been a great footballer, <laughs> but, but as a man, he is a loser and a coward. He would never have dared to make those comments directly to Vinny, Alex, or Paul. The BBC has spent tens of thousands of pounds trying to make him the new face of television sport, but he simply has no charisma or presence or anything about him and is a waste of television space, let alone licence fee. <laughs> Lineker has sent so many people to sleep, the BBC would do better marketing him as a cure for insomnia. <laughs> it would earn them more money than Lineker has won them viewers. The BBC is substantially lowering their usual high standards, trying to promote Lineker as a frontman. He is an insult to Des Lynham. <laughs> Sorry. That's my favourite bit of the whole bit. <laughs> That's a typical Wally. Sorry. And all sports lovers. Wimbledon would like to... This is the best bit. Wimbledon is the final bit. Wimbledon would like to invite him to their training ground to discuss his opinions <laughs> of Vinny and the players. And it's signed by the entire team. But they've obviously... Um, being a bit nice because there's a little kiss at the end of it. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, that's Vinnie Jones's signature. I do apologise, you will forgive me. Thank you very much.